OK, Paul, let's first of all talk about uh, Wednesday night. It was mm -hmm. a good point away at Luton, wasn't it? Um, I got mi mixed emotions, really. Um, you know, before the game, we'd, we'd, we'd have taken a point. Um, I thought we finished the game sort of stronger. Um, and uh, on another day, probably, you know, probably should have had a penalty in another day, the, the two that cleared off the line just end up dropping in. But uh, great defending by the lad, uh, by the way. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, be, being honest, it, it was a good point. We'd taken a point before the game. But um, I think just the way we, we, we finished the game and our overall, you know, our solidity of the side and, um, you know, um, we, we was a little bit, uh, the, the lads came in a little bit frustrated, I think, at the end. But uh, no, like I say, at the end of the day, it was a, it was a good point and, and in a place where where not many people go and get a point. So, uh, and a clean sheet, I think that's the first time that they've, they've not conceded at home. So. And it's five unbeaten now. Is that? I, don't, I didn't know that. Uh, no, well, that, that, that's excellent. Yeah, it's. Um, but I think, you know, regardless of what we've done now, it's the next game's now going to be important, you know, and it's, um, we need to keep focus now. And I think um, our mindset's got to be, got to be excellent now coming into, into, into this game on Saturday and uh, our, our next, you know, two or three games. Um, because, you know, it's, it's easy to, to play well when the cameras are there and, and when there's big crowds there and when your opposition's, you know, a, a, an ex-premiership club or ex-first division club. Um, but, you know, teams that are successful have to, have to go to uh, the top, the bottom, uh, you know, all, all the way through the league and, and, and get results. So, uh, you know, I, I think I'll be looking, I'll be looking at us very closely th this weekend to see what we're about and, and to see... Um, if, if we progress in terms of our mindset. So uh, I think it's a very important weekend for us. I suppose you, I bet you attempted to stay down in the South East a little bit, didn't you? Because it's a, another long journey. It is, but, um, you know, everyone else has got to do it. Um, you, know, we, you know, we're no different to everyone else, but uh, we're going down today. You know, we, we, we're trying to, after the game, we try to get the right foods into the players and, and make sure they get the right fluids in. And um, training's been sort of... Uh, Dampen down a little bit, um, just to make sure that you know we, we, we're not uh, we're not overdoing the training. Uh, so uh, you know our preparation will be right, but um, you can prepare, you know, uh, you know the best way possible. And you know we're stopping overnight, but if uh, if our heads aren't right, then um, we'll get turned over. Absolutely simple as that. Will Paul Edwards be part of the squad? Yes, he'll definitely be part of the squad. Uh, he's going to come in, um, although the. Thought the back four was excellent the other night. Thought, thought they, they all acquitted themselves well against good players. Um, so that's a big decision for me, whether to start him or, or, or whether just to, um, to put him on the bench initially. But he's definitely going to come down with us. He's, he's a player that, um, that I wanted um, right from pre-season. But obviously Fleetwood came in and, uh, you know, um, the rest is history. Mm. What sort of player is he? What can he bring to the side? He does a little bit of everything, to be honest. He's, he's quite combative. Um, you know, as, as I, well, I like my fullbacks to be like that. He, he, can, he can get close. He's a good defender. Um, but he's also got a good left foot and um, he's also articulate when, when he's got the ball. So, uh, you know, he's um, testament is he's at Fleetwood at the minute. You know, and, uh, you know they, they've, they've been trying to monopolise um, you know the, the whole of the playing. You know the players in, in, in non-league football at the minute. They, they usually get the best players. So uh, you know we, we, we brought someone in that I think is a, a very good player. And is, once again, it's going to be a good addition to the squad. Mm. In for a month, I suppose. If it goes well, you'll be looking to extend that. Yeah, you know. I mean, like I say, it's a really important time for us now. You know, I mean, although we, we've not jumped up any places, um, you know, after, after Wednesday. You know, we're still on target. You know, for for the the targets we give ourselves, and uh, you know, we we see the, this part of the the season has been the business end now, and the players are really sort of excited. Uh, I think, I mean, you know, they they understand what's expected of them, and um, you know, the their performances, you know, have got to be good now. You know, well, not necessarily. I'm saying not necessarily the performances. The results have got to be good now between now and the end of the season. Mm. So, because you're travelling down today, are we not expecting any new faces? You said you wanted to bring one or two possibly in. Are we expecting that now to happen again next week? Now, yes, it'll be done over the weekend. You know, obviously, I take my phones down with me. I'm still talking to players. I've talked to a few this morning. Hoping to get uh, one, maybe two, sort of tied up um, before you know, before you know, next week and. Um, you know, because like I say, it's important that um, that our squad's strong, and uh, because uh, like I say, it's a business end of the season now, and, and anything can happen. Uh, and I think that's the uh, I think that's the most important thing is is that you know, like I say, we called for you know, being in the season to be in that pack, chasing the playoffs. 
once again reiterated it at Christmas time, and now we're coming to the end of January, and we're still we're still in there. So, uh, you know, it's a really important period for us, uh, you know, and uh, I think the players understand that. But uh, like I say, Saturday is an important game for us. Mm. Finally, away from this, I don't know if you saw David Moyes' comments last week. He was trying to get a Everton B side into the conference. He did, tried it four years ago, and it was poo pooed. Is that something that you think was a right decision by the conference in the end, or would you have liked to have seen B sides from Premier Leagues at this level? No, I mean, I've just heard about that, so so it would just be my, um, you know, be my opinion straight away. It would be it would be a little bit disrespectful to to the league, um, you know, because I think if I'm going to be totally honest, there's a lot of people in in, in the football league that turn the nose up at, at non-league football, um, but it's amazing how they keep coming and picking players up from non-league. Uh, so yeah, I find that disrespectful and and. To say it would be somebody's like you know youth league reserve league would would be I think disrespectful to to the people that are working here the players, uh, the chairman, the managers. Um, but that's just my opinion. Um, you know, like I say, uh, I'd rather them play the reserve league and and because uh, we nine out of ten times you know the players that, that don't usually make it at Everton they usually end up at this level and then find out what a hard level it is to, to perform in. So. Uh, so yeah, that, that's my opinion. I've only just heard about that, um, and that just off the top of my head, that you know, I found it a bit disrespectful to mm. to the level of football. So it seems like the conference made the right decision by turning it away four years ago. Yeah, they did. Yeah, you know, it's. Um, but I mean, one thing I will say on top of that is that at some point the football league's got to turn this league into in, into a football league. Um, you know, you look at the teams that are coming through now that just they're just flying through the second division as well. You know, I've been to see teams this year in, in the second division. And the, the, there's very little gap now between this league and, and second division. That's obviously just my opinion, but you know that's been backed up by me going watching conference teams against second division teams, and um, you know by you know the you know the stats say you know a lot of the teams that get promoted you know a lot of them are, go through the second division into the first division. So um, I think you know that there is a there is a negative mindset about about this about this league. Um, but it's amazing when you ask the same people who probably say it's the hardest league to get out of in, the, in, in English football. So um, there's a little bit of contradiction there. Mm. OK, then, Ross, what about these last two games? It's been a good week so far, hasn't it, for Mansfield? Yeah, it has been, yeah. Um, I don't think just the last two games. I think if you'd have gone into the last four and said we'd have picked up uh, the points we have, I don't think anyone would have believed us. So if you stick like two York games in and uh, the Luton game as well, and we've come away unbeaten. Um, so it's a great result, I think, for the boys. What about that Luton match? And Neil Miller, I suppose you were coming back thinking it could have been a bit more than that, a bit better. I think so, yeah. I think um, the two goal line clear clearances uh, we had, um, if one of those had gone in, it would have been a different game. Um, but yeah, I think a, a point was a good result for us, really. Uh, first half, I'd say they came out the blocks quickest. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't think they created too many clear-cut chances or anything. And then second half, I think we were probably the team that was on top. Um, and yeah, we're quite happy anyway to come away with a point. All week we were talking about it's a violent cauldron, it was a vicious atmosphere, and it was as quiet as anything. So you obviously did your job right. Yeah, it was a bit of an anticlimax, wasn't it, really? Um, but yeah, I think we set our stall out um, and we did well as a team. Um, we've gone out there and we've matched them up 4-3-3. And you could have said in um, second half we were the better team. So, yeah, I think we've gone out and done a job and done what we've, we went there to do. How much confidence does that game give you, do you think? A lot. In, in personally, I think um, there's no team that we should be scared of in this league. Um, I think we've played everyone now and every team that we've played against, I think we've done well. Uh, so, yeah, I think confidence-wise, we're five, six unbeaten now. I think we can go on and, and do well. Interesting game tomorrow, though. It's Ebbsfleet. You've got to keep it going. And they're a side that you can slip up against quite easily, aren't they? Yeah, saying that, I think that's one of the problems we've had, really, this season. Um, like, with 13 draws, that's what we've let ourselves down with, really. Uh, some of the so-called lower teams, we've drew when we should have won games. Uh, so, I think that's what we're going to concentrate on, mostly. Just go there and do a job and get the win, really.